Now in today's community conversation, we're joined by Spencer Kennedy, a prevention specialist with Region 10. Hi, Casey. Thank you so much, Amaya. So October 28th, National Drug Take Back Day, and we've been talking about why it's so important. Tell us a little bit more about what that means. So I'm sure we can all relate to the experience of going to the doctor, getting a prescription written, going to the pharmacy, getting it filled, taking the medication, but then getting better. And maybe there's, you know, 10, 15 pills left, goes in the cabinet. A few years go by, all of a sudden that, that medicine box has 8, 10, 12 bottles in it. They're just sitting there for years. Yeah at a time. Um, and some of those medications can be very risky to have around. So the DEA um, has organized what's called National Drug Take Back Day, where people can go and bring their expired, their unwanted, their unused medications and dispose of them in a safe manner. Yeah, so it's really, really important. Why, why would you say it is, though, so critical that people dispose of these in the right way instead of maybe just throwing them away or flushing them, something like that? Yeah, so there's a lot of reasons. Yeah. Um, hanging on to those medications, like I said, some of them can be a little riskier than others. Um, those are the controlled medications. Um, and those are medications that are controlled for a reason. They can be abused. They can lead to addiction. They can have high overdose rates. Um, and so many people that um, have taken, say, a, a prescription painkiller when they didn't have a, uh, a prescription for it, um, the more, majority of them who have started because their family or friend gave it to them for free. Yeah. So having that around, allow for that opportunity to happen. Um, and we want to be able to stop that from happening. Yeah. Um, you know, we've lost so many people due to overdose or addiction. Um, getting these medications away from a, you know, a cabinet um, or, or a closet or anything like that um, and disposing of them in a safe way um, that's not damaging the environment or perhaps can lead to someone going through you know, your trash and going through that and finding it that way. Um, that way you know it's safe. Yeah. Um, and it's not just medications like that. Um, it can be really any medication that someone might stumble into accidentally, especially children. The amount of calls the Poison Control Center gets for um, children, you know, accidentally getting in this medication um, and, and, you know, ingesting it in some manner is staggering. Yeah. Um, and that's a big danger. Um, so making sure that we're, we're not having these medications out in a way that people can grab them uh, either intentionally or accidentally and getting rid of them in a safe way. Yeah, so it's something that just makes things safer for everyone, really. Where can people go if they want to find more information about safely disposing of their drugs? Sure, yeah, so um, the National Take Back Day has so many sites where you can bring this to. If you go to DEA.gov slash Take Back Day, you can find a location near you. If that's not something you're maybe quite wanting to do, um, you can go to region10.org slash do your part and through that you can uh, pick up a medication lockbox, something you can still keep your medicines but they're more secure in that way. Or you can uh, pick up what's called a drug deactivation kit where if you want to dispose of this medication safely, um, it's a kit that can allow you to, to render it essentially useless. All this really a community effort to reduce the amount of dangerous drugs and, and drugs that are accessible in our community. Good stuff. Anything else you want to add real quick before we go? That is all. I appreciate you as always. All right. Thank you as always for being here. We'll have you back soon. Certainly. Thank you. Amaya, back to you.